Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we have our team ready to go. We're going to go out with our new class, the Anointed Griffin. We'll get into his backstory in a, moment, uh, in a moment. Angela, Katrina Duran and Nori as our healer. I think this team should could be pretty interesting. Hopefully it's going to be pretty good. But let's jump into Griffin's backstory here. This one was written by Strange Wonder, so I do thank you for that. And I'm very excited to use this class. Some very interesting stuff. We've got this here, the Sacred Blade, which is really cool. Uh, going to have a self-heal, so we'll be swapping to that kind of intermittently. But we're going to go with the Zealous Iris, which is... Armor piercing, good damage. We got the um, this skill here, which is going to debuff crits and speed and break guard. Very, very good. We have this here, renew to heal allies up. And then we have safeguard, which is going to heal ourselves, buff our own maximum HP and heal the ally. And I'm thinking because we've got some people here with lower maximum HPs, this should work out quite well. Yeah, let's get into his backstory. He was once a proud warrior of the light, soaring crusades left and right. He doesn't remember much beyond that. Flashes, maybe a few images and a few names, but even with that, he still holds devotion for the light. For the cause of protecting those who stand underneath its rays, and he would do just um he would do just that if not for a single complicated circumstance. For the longest time, he could not protect anyone but himself, for he was trapped within the strange, endless void. He was festering on the monsters he had slain. He was destroying them more and more with reckless abandon until he would perish, and yet he never did. He never died, no matter how he got injured. He always succeeded and killed the others, and healing quicker than the wounds could be delivered to his demise. He has no idea what, has, uh, what he had become, a strange hybrid of bird and human. He had no idea how much time had passed. He'd slain plenty already, but one day it all ended. He was chasing one of the beasts somewhere before he suddenly found himself in the middle of a city. The void had ended. Some say it isn't much better, but he was in the hamlet now. So he's been transported from some sort of endless void, and he has been out there slaying and slaying and slaying. So, yeah, quite a quite a troubled past. Quite a trouble pass indeed, but I'm, I'm looking forward to using this class and getting into it. We also have quite a few diaries to get into this episode. First of all, we have a narration for Josephine Crowley, the ringmaster, after she basically pummeled the friar and his crowd of unhappy peasants into the ground. Aha! The manic, horrific laughter of a madwoman spread across the hamlet, as the sound of battle could be heard wherever the eye could see. It was night, and yet it was bright. Flames of war create enough light to fill the streets and make seeing yourself but a trivial task. Josephine is drenched with blood, her mace swinging again and again, creating a twisted melody only heard by her and her alone. Wonderful, astonishing, marvellous, for all its horrors, for all its monsters from around the place, the one who was uh, designed to set this uh, town at a flame were its citizens all along. A true poetic irony. She announced her words to the world around before laughing once more again, crushing another rioter's head with a heavy weapon. She grins, most of her face still hidden behind the heavy helmet. Rejoice, for all your beliefs and prayers have finally been answered with one true light, the merciful light of fire that burns everyone. Without mercy, without those cheap, worthless blessings, she raised her hand as if she was a religious fanatic, before stopping herself and snickering, not believing a single thing she said. The attics can be so cheap, but so fun at times. Ah well, they'll drown in their blood before they burn, she giggles in one more unhinged manner. She hopes some of the religious morons heard her ravings just now. Wow, that was, that was amazing. And along with that goes a diary entry from her herself. Again, this is by Strange Wonder. Aha, what a lovely day. What a lovely day. After a few of the last missions, one of the religious idiots decided it'd be a good idea to go against the little group of heroes and misfits and others of a kind. Nothing pleases me more than an excuse to murder as many unhelpless lambs as I can. Unorganized, led by a raving mad old man, screaming of the end, armed with the most pitiful of things, crushing the spirits until there's nothing left. Oh, the euphoria. The skeletons went nearly as much fun. I wouldn't be washing out the blood from my clothes anytime soon. Red does suit me quite well. 
and I'm so thrilled with all the carnage and destruction I was able to achieve that I don't even care that the rest of my team were once again faceless dummies with no star potential at all. I hope to find my star soon. However, wow. Absolutely amazing writing. I love the flow and just... She is just such... I, I, as I said previously, her unearned and undeserved confidence will be her demise. And she is just... She's such a showwoman, such a... She, she wants to put on such a show for everyone that she cares not about any trouble, any anything at all that could harm her. She is just out to to cause destruction and find her star. And she is she is well on her way, but at least she defended the townsfolk, whether she did it out of um out of wanting to help the town, or she did it out of just pure rage and adrenaline. I do not know, but it sounds like she loved the destruction nonetheless. But here we go. We'll go over our team right now. So we've got Griffin, the um, the anointed. He's going to be kind of our debuffer and damage dealer up in the front. We do have the otherworldly bell mixed with the husband's heart. Just for that bit of extra prot if we're going to be using the, um, the safeguard here. Then we have Angela who's going to be, again, rocking the Otherworldly Bell, counteracted by the Legendary Brace. Her health is okay, um, and we've got Quick Witted here with position 2 for that bit of extra speed and crit. Uh, quite nice. Um, she should be pretty good, of course. She's going to get that massive damage bonus on marked targets. Unfortunately, we don't really have too much max synergy with her, but I've wanted to bring Angela out anyway. She hasn't been out for a little while. Then we have Katrina Duran uh, going with the full-on crit build. 23% crit chance. Insane. And actually marked by the flock as well. So the Talon Brigade... May just see the anointed here and think um, think twice about about uh, trying to take him down. But we're going to be using Head Trower mainly because of that massive crit mod. Um, as well as the Sundering Flesh to just break guard and minus that prop, which is going to be super, super useful. And then, of course, we have Nori here, who is actually had a little bit of a rework and a little bit of a rebalance since we last played her. But we're mainly going to be using Regenerate mixed with Concentrated Regeneration. Um, along with the um, Isotate Head for the extra restoration amount and duration. Um, and then, of course, we're actually using the Last Light. This is going to prevent nighttime ambush which is great because it means we don't have to use a camping skill on it it's going to increase the amount of healed per friendly skill so i'm hoping if that works with this we'll actually get plus two healed but the better thing is we're going to get friendly skill of buffing target with prop which is very very good so we should see that this is a very very nice little composition here um, and we should we should do just fine we should do just fine but anyways let's grab our let's grab our bits and embark on another journey and we do even have the collector here i didn't actually notice that originally but we do we have yet another diary entry strange wonder has written all of them today because he's just an absolute beast and this is from unknown a spark of defiance had turned into a flame of internal conflict a raging madness of despair has coaxed the good citizens of this place to turn their ire at those who have allowed them allowed this rotten dump to rise from the ashes left by a single madman they never had a chance fooled by the words of a diverted Brought, fo uh, brought false hope and freedom that was never taken from them in the first place. A foolish distraction from the cleansing of this estate, however, a productive one indeed. The friar, he tried, but he could not do it. But this is a long mission, so we should, we should be okay here. I'm actually quite excited for this group. I think this group has great potential. Great, great potential. We should get rid of that. We don't need that. Um, and we should see we should see some some significant damage out of this group. I'm thinking, or at least I'm hoping. Scouting chances aren't super high here, so we're not really worrying about that. Um, and we're just going to have to sort of figure out how this group works with each other and how best to use them. Uh, that's kind of kind of be the thing to figure out. Oh, we've actually got a lot of trap disarm here on Nori. Does she have um, some extra trap disarm? Ah, there you go. Look, plus 25% trap disarm with skeleton key and in inventory. Very nice indeed helps out a lot of course we're clearing 90 percent of room battles here so we have to go every Finding which way that we can only the first test we've got to go all the way down home. here and back again it does seem like a little bit of a pointless journey down that way but we've got a map here so that actually helps out a bunch i wonder how much search it's gonna give us not too much unfortunately i was really hoping that we'd get like a secret room or just a little bit more scouting than that but hey her either way i'm actually pretty happy with this group and the the only thing i'm worried about is the healing isn't amazing we don't have tons of healing, but I'm hoping if um, if this works properly, then it should actually be quite good. I have to kind of test that out. Let's let's see. 
Yes, it does work. Okay, we should be fine. And that gives everyone prot. The fact that it gives everyone prot is insane. Uh, we're going to lower prot here. It's going to be great. Because all of these guys have prot on them, so lowering it's going to be fantastic. And we're actually going to do that as well. We're just going to debuff everyone to start. Um, and then... Let's mark you. Get you ready for our next attack. If they mark this guy here, our, um, our anointed griffin, he actually gets extra bonuses while marked. So we could see some very interesting extras there. But unfortunately, they just keep going for Angela. We'll have a little look-see, though. And we can, we can kind of look into some of those bonuses. Um, if we go and take a look here, we get 66% damage while marked. So that's really, really good. Um... Allies, heal six, renew. Um, do you know what? Let's just go for the attack. There we go. And a crit as well. Even better. So what we're going to do here is just transfer all the regen here. There you go. And we're going to lower prot again. Does okay damage, but the lowering prot's very important because these enemies have a lot of prot. And then we go for this on you for the extra damage. And this other world, I think this healing setup is actually going to be great with this otherworldly bell and the, um, the, the last light. Also, this last light is going to be a trinket that we use very regularly from now on. It's a very, very strong trinket. So we're going to be using it most battles. Let's just take a look what we got here. Ooh, that's pretty harsh. Um, minus 50% damage received, but plus 14 crits received. Luckily, we can actually debuff crit chance pretty heavily, so... That's actually kind of a good disease for us to have right now. The ground quakes. Okay, good. These guys have got no prot left in them. Um, let's get that going. That's such a good combo. The plus 10 prot's insane as well. Um, armor piercing doesn't really matter right now. Because these guys don't have any more armor. Destroy them and Katrina, can you finish this off for us maybe? Actually, you might be able to. Yes, nice one. As the enemy so that skill there, actually, um, if we if we just take a little look at Nori here, that's going to get uh, different uh, damage values or crit based on our light level. So it gets a pretty good bonus while we're at high light, which we often are. So pretty good there. Uh, as you can see, this group very well suited for this area, especially with the um, ability to reduce prot. I kind of, um, I kind of did that on purpose. Brought uh, Katrina here because we haven't used Katrina as much, and being able to reduce prot in the wield is really, really important. A lot of enemies have it, so I'm very happy with that. Let's grab this. Okay, so it does look like we have um, Zoophobia. We have artistic, that's it. So artistic is probably one of the worst negative quirks, at least in my opinion, because you touch pretty much everything. What's going on here? This woman is um, kind of tied up, which is a bit strange. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, uh, looks like we have to try and save her by the looks of things, maybe? So no AOE for now. Head trauma coming in. Punishment. But these are the uh, these are the people that are after. I think it's after Nori, isn't it? No, is it after Katrina? Yes, it's after Katrina. I'm just gonna try and go for all-out damage here and get him killed. But I'm not exactly sure how this works. I've never seen this before. They're pulling Katrina to the front, of course. That's okay though. Okay, hostage situation. Oh no. Okay, so we have to. We can break guard, I think, but that is an AOE. We don't really want to do that, do we? Hmm. I don't know what happens if we hit her. Inflicts massive horror to all heroes on death. I don't know what her repurse does. I, I would rather not do this, so let's just go like this. We need some of the breaks guard. Let's, let's not risk it for now. Let's just wait for the guard to be over. Volley coming in, that's alright. A little bit of a debuff there on our dodge. And panic. Um, how does this work? D stealth. Okay, so this D stealth, minus speed, plus 10 crits received, breaks repurse. Okay, so we can use that on him. This is a major debuff. How quickly the we can wait this out. Hurts. 
We can wait this out. The way is lit. One more turn. Baird coming in. We're getting a bit of swap rounds here, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Okay, so you're just stressing us the hell out. Even more debuffs on you. Okay, let's just heal our allies. That's a really good healing move, that. It doesn't heal ourselves, but I like that a lot. So this should this should be the guard over right now, I think. The stress is getting a little high, actually. Didn't really pay attention to that earlier. Um, don't know how we're going to deal with stress, really. I mean, that's a good way if we get crits. Cemented whales. Stop stressing us out. We're trying to save you. There we go. This does do damage. Yes, we got the kill. Victory. Perhaps the turning point. Okay, volley coming in. Volley's okay. We can deal with volley. We should be able to get the kill right here. Maybe not. I was hoping we would be able to there, but try and take out that. Not quite. There we go. Right, let's see how this works. I don't want to attack her. Mittens, gratitude. There you go. Okay, so that was a big stress heal. Oh, and we got a trinket as well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. Rather nice. Let's uh, let's throw some bits away here and grab as much as we can. Grab as much as we can. Okay, so we got this here, the uh, the prism of the Sunbringer, which. Minus is our damage versus barrages. I'm not exactly sure why that's good. Um, minus 50% torch burn rate's nice. And plus 10% scouting chance. And we've actually got the second pair of that. So that's kind of good. I like that. Okay, that was, uh, that was rather interesting. First time I've had one of those events appear. Uh, but we managed to save someone and fend off against the, uh, the flock. Which is great. We, we really don't want to tangle with them guys too much. They keep trying to find us. Um, they haven't found Sabrina yet, which is great. But they, they will wander. They will wander. We'll try and keep our distance from now. And probably um, let Sabrina know of what's, uh, of what's happened. Because she'll, she'll want to know when, whenever they're about. And especially if they're capturing random folk. I don't know where, whereabouts they got that maiden. But I'm sure she wasn't very happy about it. Get that on there. What the hell's this? Oh, the clobber. Okay, by the way, I have added like five or six new classes. One of them is the clobber. So we'll have to have a look at those and see if we get any of those in the uh, near future. But either way, for now, let's carry on. R remember, we don't have to worry about nighttime ambush here. Can you please stop touching things? Oh, this is a pretty hard bit of combat here. We've got one of these guys in the back. Let's have a little look, see. So you've got a small amount of prop. No one else has prop. Let's just go with that to start. Oh, you did resist there. Go for the attack. Nice dodge on the hex. Ren for the old gods coming in. Again, nice dodge. Okay. Head trauma. No crits yet with Katrina. Considering the 23% chance I was hoping. Plus 11 crit mod. I was hoping we'd get a few more than this, but obviously not. Um, yeah, we can afford this. Six stress on everyone, but we get double stuns. I think that's pretty nice. Ooh, that was kind of a hard hit there. Kind of a hard hit. It's okay, though. We're going to... Actually, let's, let's regen now. It's more important, I think. Regen plus increased prop. And this should get us the kill, right? Yes, we should. Good, good. Getting rid of you early is great. And not quite the damage we needed, but good enough. Eldritch Push coming in. Hopefully we should resist that. We didn't. Not a massive issue, though. We can still use you from distances. Unfortunate miss there. This minus speed is, is super nice, by the way. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Go for that. There's that crit. Easy kill. Plus five crit chance as well on getting a crit. Like to see that. Um... Let's, let's summon a, a, a Mirage, shall we? In Radiance, may we find when victory. hit, healer, uh, heal attacker. Ah, that's why you want the minus damage. 
Mirage is healed when Darks on Arrow hits an enemy. Interesting. So we actually get some healing by doing this. There you go, get some restoration. Interesting. I like the I like the combination that we can do there with that trinket. Very good. Very good indeed. I like that combo a lot. Right. Just get everyone restorationed. We're, we're giving people a hell of a lot of restoration right now, so that's going well. Yeah, another crit coming in there. More crit chance. I, I like the crit chance on crit because you just get this rolling effect. Also, AoE attacks that we've got here with the Mirage is actually great. There you go. Their formation is broken. Oh, we got a Jude Tapestry. Defensive. Was not expecting that, but it's it's nice and welcome. Uh, I'll get rid of the bandages for now. And we'll do that and then that. Cool, that's good. Uh, we'll quickly reorganize these guys, see what we've got here. Well, this is going well so far. Uh, one thing I do want to just check out, disease-wise, I think we've only got one disease. I'm fairly sure Nori has a camping skill. One companion, remove disease, yes. So we can actually remove that disease on the fly if we'd like to, which of course I do want to. Very good indeed. Oh my god, all the restoration popping. That was such a strange sound. Alright, last room battle of this area over here. We'll get back to the center and then camp again, I think. Makes sense. So what we got? Maggots, which are a little more deadly in the dark. So let's make sure we um, torch up a little bit. Uh, you've got 15 pro. These guys can crit quite a lot. What sort of damage can we do here? We're going to kill this, so let's just go for the kill. I love his attack move. It looks so good. The animation for his attack is really cool. Um, we don't really need to do anything. Okay, I always thought you required a corpse to make a mirage. You don't, which is really good to know. Really good to know indeed. We're just going to go all out damage this time. Solar burn's going to hurt. I love the mirage. They're such cool enemies. Nice dodge. Ho oh, ho, there we go. Angela with the huge hit. Well done. Well done. And we've got a Sapphire there as well, even better. And the last battle of this area. Okay, we do have some pretty difficult enemies here, but we did get the surprise, which is very valuable. Um, I think we want to be doing this. We really want to reduce this guy's crit chance. I don't know how high his crit chance is, but if he gets us, it'll hurt. Um, and we're also going to crit received on that guy as well. Try and take out, yeah, I'll get to say, try and take out the dog in a single hit. Stop us from getting rabies. And I think we go for a mark on this guy. And there's a crit already. But we got the mark on him. Minus 16 speed is huge. Minus the dodge is also really nice. Luckily, confusion spores didn't hurt us too badly. We got the curse on us here. Yes, you marked the wrong person there. Ho ho! <laughs> 32 crit. You marked the wrong person here. You silly wench. That was very dumb of you. Very dumb of you indeed. Oh, ho, ho, another crit. Beautiful. This is a really good combo we've got going on between... Um, Griffin and Katrina. I like this. We've been making some really, really potent combos recently. And there's a 20 hit. Really potent combos. I love it. We're, man we're, we're managing stress okay. And we dodged the tree smackdown as well. Even better. Nice bit of healing coming in there for us. Take you down. I love that land. So cool. Right, we'll get another heal coming in in a sec. Um... Oh, we'll get, we'll just get the kill. Great stuff. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's trapped. Okay, we can get rid of that real quick. And yeah, we'll make our way back over here. And then we'll camp. Because uh, we'll, we'll finish this battle here first. And then we'll camp. 
because we've got we're, this is a long mission so we've got two campfires and the fact that we don't have to worry about prevent nighttime ambush means that for one even if we didn't have the skill it'd be better but we do have the skill it just means that we don't have to use the respite points on it which is very very good it's weird how like this last light the only real big downside is that you need to carry more torches I, I do think that that trinket is a little bit unbalanced for how good the positives are. Um, maybe it should, like, reduce maximum HP by a bunch as well or something like that. Or reduce torch by, like, 30 on hit rather than 10. Um, maybe I'll tweak it because I can actually go in and tweak some of the trinkets. If you guys think it's a little too powerful, I can make it a little less strong or just make the negatives a little more prominent. Um, that's probably the better idea. Uh, just because we're going to be using it pretty much every mission from here on out on, on at least one of our classes because it's very, very good. I know that on the Antiquarian it makes her very good because what you can do is you can give the friendly skill heal 2 and buff prot and then just use invigorating vapors. So you just buff prot, heal and dodge all in one turn. Very, very strong. Very, very strong indeed. Pack's already been looted. That's okay. Bit of hunger. We've actually used quite a lot of our food already, which is a little scary. What we got here. Okay, th these these enemies are pretty easy. Lots of prots, so let's just reduce that as quickly as we can. Unfortunate dodge there. We're going for all the debuffs early on. Stop marking Angela. Why don't I... Mark... I mean, to be fair, marking her isn't terrible, but... Do you mark, like, Griffin, please? That'd be way better. I love that attack as well. It looks so cool. Rain of Blight coming in. And... Again, we'll go for this. Set this up. Nice hit. Damn. If we'd, if we'd have gotten a crit there, that would have been an easy kill. Let's go for some restoration here. And a bit of prot. So, this armor pierces as well, so let's go for this. Nice hit. Oh, really? A solo. At least we've got some AoE attacks to finish them off. Angela's really taking a beating here, but she can take it, which is a good thing. She's actually pretty well versed at taking damage. Look at that armor. I like the fact that both of these are Warriors of the Light as well. Nori really isn't the person to pair with these guys, but honestly, it's okay. She's got all the restoration now. What we're we doing for... That's fine. Okay. Um, let's go for that. Nice kill. You've got one HP. Let's just do that. It's going to kill you at least. It's going to lower your speed and uh, crit and everything. Finish you off. 16 over 4. That's insane. That's insane. There we go. Nice one, Katrina. Beautiful. Beautiful. Success so clearly in view. Indeed, so clearly in view. Right. Uh, we can actually make it to this room over here before we camp because these are two empty rooms. If we hadn't got the scouting, I'd have camped right there, but because we know it's safe to go up this way, quickly select you. Hoping we get a um, a secret room here. I'm not going to torch up either now because torching doesn't matter when you're camping. That's dealing with our stress nicely. We haven't used any shovels yet, and we gained one, so let's go for it. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and okay, the cool. foolhardy alike. Let's camp it out. And food, Huddle we together. don't need to do that, so let's just do this Furtive one. And, and just before anything else, we'll get into a Rats few more diary entries here that we have. Um, this one's for Petra, our mender, um, again by Strange Wonder. How does one expect to heal a piece of the void within a suit of armor and a strange piece of crystal turned into a scarecrow? I've just arrived into this town and the challenges of the new life seem to be piling on quite fast. I've heard there was a riot while I was asleep. I suppose it makes sense to decide to send out one of the newer ones around the town, while most of the adventurers rest after a brutal brawl with the townsfolk. I couldn't help but feel unease with my comrades. Even the one who looks like the most human. What a strange place. Indeed, indeed. And we actually have one more here for Fragment the Scarecrow. 
The pages are full of bluish runes, drawn crudely by a stick, but still sticking to it inside a, co a coherent picture somehow. A reader would understand those runes as words, despite not knowing the language. We finally advanced on a mission. After so long, we featured, uh, we feared that each other um, would not wish to align themselves with us for our looks, our true nature. We've shown the others our worth. We wish to assist in helping the ones of flesh in defeating the odds. Tis what our prior bodies would not want. So it is what we want. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, of course, Scarecrow is not exactly... The Scarecrow fragment is not exactly human, so... <laughs> he's not going to be writing the most natural of diary entries. But hey, here, here we go with our skills. Let's see what we've got. Um, so we can remove disease here, and we want to remove it off of... Um, who was it again? Okay, so let's go... Remove disease here. Nice one. Party gains extra crit with higher um, higher torch, so let's go with that. Um, one companion extra damage and speed. If not religious, let's go with that. Suffered a bit of damage, but you've got that restoration still, so that doesn't actually matter too much. And then one companion if religious. We've not got great things here to really use, to be honest. Um, one companion. Let's go. Let's go with this. There you go. Just heal you up a little bit, and that'll do us. Good, good. Let's go, guys. No, wor no worry for nighttime ambush at all, and we can carry on our journey. Keep going. Good, good. 50 gold. Why, why is there even sacks that have 50 gold in them? Just not enough. We should we should be okay for the rest of this mission here. This team seems to be handling this area with finesse. And we've got pretty high speed as well, as you might be noticing. Um, eight speed. We keep, we, we're, we're going fast pretty regularly. We should get some real quick kills here, by the way. Real quick kills. I was just about to say, unless he gets stunned. <laughs> of course, Katrina got stunned. Why, Katrina? God damn it. Stunned them too. Really? One of them resisted? It's okay. That's okay. Devour coming in. Nice dodge. There we go. Should be able to kill all of them in pretty much one fell swoop here. I'm just going to be using our AoE skills here. Using, using these AoE skills, actually, if I take a little look. So this one's ranged, and so is this one, I believe. Um, didn't mean to do that, but it works out, actually. Um, I think that one's ranged as well, technically. It'd kind of be nice to use those with the bleed, like bleed on, on hit, so everything gets bled. That'd be really useful. Let's take a little look. Yeah, that, that is ranged. Okay, I thought it would be. Nice hit. Heals everyone as well with that otherworldly bell. And Devour coming in. It's going to heal you up for a little bit. Katrina's getting a little low, actually. Let's uh, let's be careful here. You can have all of the healing from everyone. Take it all. You got the Solar Blessing as well. Um, 28 over 5. That's absurd. Wow. Um, if we take a look at Solar Blessing. Pretty interesting. Nothing too major. And then... I thought that'd get the other spider as well, actually. But it didn't. Not quite. There we go. And you are pretty much done here. There we go. And everyone's healed up as well. Lovely. Can be healed, but never healed. Grab that. Don't need any of that. We really don't need any of that sort of stuff at the moment, so I'm just not taking it. We're, we're, we're mainly after money to scale up quicker. We've got this, this same setup as we had earlier. We should be okay here yet again. we just got to play this right. Stress is fine on Katrina. She, Katrina can handle stress. She's been stressed her whole entire life. Um, right. Let's quickly torch up. Uh, prot. What we're looking at for prot. Only one with prot, so I think we just go for the ah, uh, go for the attack. Unfortunately, we did mix miss there. Stop. Why do they keep going for Angela? Go for bloody Griffin. It'd be so much better. 
We can actually kill here if we get lucky. We didn't, but it's worth a try. I'm actually going to go for the kill, though, here. Just go for the kill again. We'll get rid of those bodies in a moment as well. From death comes life. Aha! This is one of the things that we need to kill very quickly. I remember this now. Good. Gone. This guy has a bit of a problem with doing that. We'll get rid of it as quick as we can. Good, good. Mirage is there now to help us out. Hex coming in once more. Not too much of a problem. As you can see, our health... We've got so much healing on this team that our health levels stay relatively high. It's got We've got a pretty good combo going on, really. Ah, unfortunately, this guy's got pretty high dodge. Pretty high dodge, indeed. Um, can we summon more than one? I doubt it. I'm going to try it. Ah, oh, no, we can't. Worth a try. Okay, nice crit. This guy's been around for a little bit too long now, so... But luckily, we got rid of all the corpses, and I think he needs corpses to do his most powerful move anyways. That doesn't affect us that much. Solar Flare coming in there. Bit of Restoration. Great that, because we can trade that Restoration to other people if we need to. Well, it's one of the things I really like about the uh, this class. Strike. I think this class works really well. Okay, you're dead. Oh, we got this here. Um, let's have a little look, see what's that. Plus 30 debuff resist. Ooh, that's a very interesting little trinket here. That's a very interesting little trinket. On attacker hit, debuff target plus six crits received. Wow. Okay. That is very, very good. Um, do you know what? Let's, uh, let's trade it for our holy water. We're just not using that. But before we do... Not really worth doing, but we might get into a battle next. It, um, they only last for two battles. Uh, not two battles, three rounds, sorry. So if we don't get a fight this next round here, essentially that'll be gone anyways, but hey-ho. Okay. We're still pushing forward. That's in loot. Nice bit of extra loot. Should be earning good money here. Like I said, I'm still really hoping that we come across um, a secret room. You gotta remember as well, we could come across the collector. Level four collector is no joke. You've got prot as well. Let's get rid of all that prot. Basically, both of you on very low prot now. Get rid get our mirage in here already as well. Solar burn coming in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go for it. Gonna give us some healing as well. Of course, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, she didn't get hit, luckily. Interestingly enough, we can get the restoration off of hitting this uh, Mirage and then give it to Angela. Pretty interesting combo. I like it a lot. It's probably what I will do, actually, because Griffin just doesn't need it. So we'll go like this, and then you'll get healed for three and given three over three. Works out just great. And you get healed for two at the same time. Monstrous size has nice no one. Intrinsic merit, unless just great damage on this team. Absolutely virtue. fantastic damage. Seize Our damage potential here is so good. Push on um, to the tasks end. Let's get rid of the Loudenum. Take that extra money stack. Yeah, I, we do have the Collector that could appear, so we got to be ready for that. We haven't had the Collector in quite some time. I feel this team is very well prepared for the Collector, though. Both without healing and Nature killing, because we've got some long range. Victim to the I think we have uh, pretty much every position covered, really. We should be okay. Oh, more of the Talon people. They're back once more. And they go straight for the Birdman. Right, let's have a look. Prop. Okay, you guys have some pro, and there's a guy that's stealth as well, so we'll be able to hit him. Let's just go for both of these, because we don't know what these guys' crit is. I want to be reducing that, just in case. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Debuff coming in with the... It's only a minus four to dodge. It's nothing major. Uh, let's quickly just do that. Everyone can have restoration and pro here. I think it's going to help out. And a bit of stress relief, too. Even better. But this bird here could definitely hurt the Ripper. 
Ow. Yeah, they're, they're hurting, but we're just getting debuffs. The bleed resist. Let's go for that. Nice crit. Well done, Angela. Gives everyone a bit of healing as well. Having the double otherworldly bell set up, plus the, um, the last light. Such an amazing combo. These guys, whenever I see people with blades, I always assume that they're pretty good at critting. So I like to reduce their crit if we can. And minus 16 essentially means they can't crit anymore, I think. I think we're probably going to bring our anointed against the um, the wall of flesh. Or whatever, you, whatever you'd like to call it. The uh, incoherent flesh. Because that has very high crit, apparently. Being able to reduce its crit is very important. Another massive bubble. hit from Angela. Well done. As always, it's brilliant to see. Shank coming in there. Okay, everyone's got enough restoration to see them through this battle. Another crit. Just crits on crits on crits on crits. The blood quickens. And more restoration. Stack it up. There we go. Finished. The wounds of war can be healed. Beautiful. Never and we hidden. even get more Talon Feathers. And I will indeed take the Ruby too. What we got here. Just an heirloom chest. So I probably won't get much. Okay. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. Last few rooms here. Oh. Didn't see that coming. But here we go. We've all got restoration left over from our previous battle. So we shouldn't have any problem at all here. We're going to go for the debuffs right off the bat here. Because these guys do have some high pro, Or at least one of them does. We'll open that up as well. Get you going while there's a free slot. I wonder if this stop... Having a, one of these stops enemies being spawned. Being summoned by these guys. Because there is a, there was a free slot and now there isn't. It'd be kind of interesting if that worked that way. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Nope. It just gets rid of the Mirage. Good to know. Good to know. The Mirage can actually be pushed out of her slot. Okay. We're just going to go for the all-out damage here. Just keep striking. And as you can see, damage after damage after damage, we're pummeling this thing. Pummeling. With this lowered speed is insanely powerful. I, like... I didn't know that worked even if they missed. But yeah, the, the, the lower speed is, is working out so damn well. Look at that. We're just, we're getting to do everything before the enemies do anything. It's great. And it's just stacking and stacking. It's brilliant. A trifling victory. Love to see it. But a victory nonetheless. And here he is. The Collector himself. Okay. Um, let's have a little look, see what we can do here. So I think for now, we just go straight for the damage. Collector's Call, we didn't have the speed to stun him, so we're going to have to deal with these guys. Um, you don't have any prot. These guys don't have any prot. I think we just go for the ranged attack then. There we go. Yeah, we just go for the damage, don't we? A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. And yeah, let's do that. Let's stun these two. Festering Not super important, but it does help. The mind. Nice hits. The double. Good, good. High Wim didn't get a chance to stun, which is kind of annoying because he does hurt. A little bit of stress coming in here. Headhunt. There you go. If that crits, that's going to hurt. I mean, I suppose, actually, we could be reducing crit here to help us out. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Reducing the High Wim's crit is very important. Actually, I didn't even think about how good that would be. No crit there, but this guy's very weak now. go for that. Not great damage, but it's enough. And we just we just keep piling on the damage rather than healing. We can heal when we need to. Lowering these guys' crits to make sure that High Wayman doesn't absolutely pummel us, and what a what an insanely quick collector kill. He he barely got to do anything. That was that was fantastic. And we got one puzzle. Unfortunately not great, but we'll take it. Not great, but we'll take it. And we might as well open another one of these. Uh, you really wanted to go in and have a look at that trap, didn't you? But, as you can see, this team, very, very strong. And there's our mission complete. Um, I am going to continue adventuring, just because there could still be a secret room. Um, I know it's unlikely, but I think it's worth testing out. 
And this team is is well versed enough, especially now we've got past the collector, to easily take these guys on. Spawn Mirage. So I don't think we need to worry about what enemies we're going to see here. There we go. Keep lowering that prop. Thank you for the flare. Everyone's got a little bit of restoration now from either hitting it or getting hit by it. Again, we'll set that up. The swipe coming in. Come on, Mark, Mark, Mark Griffin. God damn it, why do you ever Mark Griffin? Why do you always Mark Angela? There's something about Angela that people just love to mark her. Strange. It's all a burn. Take you out. I'll try to at least. Nice hit. Get some regen for everyone. Angela can heal up over that. Go for that. Should be able to finish these guys off really easily in the next turn. The next go around. Especially with that coming in. Leave Angela alone. Leave her alone. More? Nice. We're getting a lot of this. A lot of restoration here. You're done. Okay. You're done. And... You're done. Beautiful. Back to back to back. What I like to see. Triumphant pride precipitates a We don't have any extra diseases to get rid of either, so there's no point camping for the second time. And I think that's our hopes and dreams of um, getting ourselves a secret room dashed, sadly. It's not always a guarantee, and we didn't have good scouting chance, so I can't complain too much. Oh, we got a treasurer, though. If we can manage to kill this guy, that'd be great. If we get a lucky hit with Katrina, this guy's dead. This guy is dead. Oh, he has very high dodge, so it's possible we don't hit him. Oh, no. You could have critted and you just didn't. Just keep going for him. We can, we can survive these guys' hits. Wow. Okay. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wow. Okay. This hurt a lot more than I was expecting it to. Ah, he's, he's gone. We've missed it. <clears throat> this point blank shot's insane. This guy needs to go. Yeah, everyone else is healed up. I'm a bit worried about his health, actually. He got crit for 21 last time, so he's only got 21... Uh, 22, sorry. He's only got 21 health right now. He did dodge that, though, which is nice. We're going to have to give some healing to everyone here. Please take the restoration. He didn't. God damn it. <laughs> everyone else took the restoration. Next time, we'll get him healed up, though. Nice hit, Angela. Exactly what we needed right now. Just don't get point-blank shot again. God damn you. Okay, that was nowhere near as much damage this time. Good. Very scary. Blanket fire coming in. Again, another dodge. Thank you. We're going to transfer all of this um, restoration. There we go. He's he's fine now, pretty much. Finish you off with a massive crit. Nice one, Katrina. This guy's crazy. Another crit. Ah, a miss. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted. Rain of Whips, a little bit of bleeding coming in, but overall not terrible. Cosmic or Restoration. Good, good. And this should be a pretty big head trauma here. Ah, no, not quite. There's a huge heal back up to full health. I'm going to say it gets scary for a minute, but then it drops off. God damn, this guy has high dodge for how massive he is. 
should only have one more turn in him, though. Yeah, he did. Good, good. Well, that was a little tricky. And we end off the mission with one last fight against some maggots. Everyone's got restoration coming into this as well, so we should be fine. Insta-kill there. Take out the dogs first. Remove that chance of diseases. Oh, I was hoping that I'd kill the dog. It didn't quite. Devour coming in is annoying because these guys are going to heal up, but luckily we haven't done too much damage to them yet anyways. Of course we still get fucking rabies. Now we're going to have to camp. It doesn't really matter that we have to camp still. Of course, he's one hit off death and we still get rabies. Just had to happen, didn't it? Yeah, this guy's going to end up devouring before we can do anything here because we have to uh, regen again. That prot's going up there. Okay, come on. We need to kill this guy before he devours. Yes. Nice hit. Nice hit. Cool. That's actually... No, it's actually kind of crap. I was like, that's really good. No, it's not. I lied. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's quickly camp. Circle in the dark. And then it was you that got it, that wasn't it? May yet be won. Yeah, you got rabies. So let's quickly cure that rabies. And then, do you know what? Let's just do stress relief there. And... Cool. We're good to go. We're good to go. Back to town. Looking good. What a great mission. That worked so well. 38,000 from that long one there. And Griffin got up to level 6. As well as Nori. Well done. Bone break fever. Pretty bad. Let's uh, let's go and take away bone break fever. Because I just don't want it. Provision quantities. This place before the charged by 50%. Made it their domain. Changed by minus 50%. Okay. Gold plus 1,500. Okay. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's quickly just um, unequip all of our trinkets. And then... Was it you that got the bird break fever? Yes, it was. Quickly get rid of that. Nice one, Angela. Let's check what we got in terms of trinkets. We have the Banished Hunter. Minus 10% damage received. Dodge halved. Friendly skill buff self plus 15 damage. Interesting. Not all that great, but interesting. Um, On kill buff party... Wait, 10% damage if Bloodsucker? What does that mean? Does that mean on a Bloodsucker? Or does that mean if they are a Bloodsucker? I'm guess, I'm going to guess that means on Bloodsucker and Bloodlust. Okay, may, maybe that's something to do with the curse then. I'm not sure. Um, Nothing amazing there. Let's quickly check out this. Acerringe. Yes, it's finally back. It's finally back in our hands. A bountiful, beautiful syringe. Let's quickly check our stagecoach as well. Yes, we do have a new class. Actually, we have a few new classes here. We have um, ourself. Wait a minute. I think we've already got a champion falcon. I think our falcon has already leveled up, but let me check. Um, yes, falcon has already leveled up. But we have our viper. One of the very new classes. The viper. Uh, we have our scourge. Another new class. Interesting one as well. And we have our clobber. The Look at this little dude. Is nothing, I fear. He's a little mushroom but guy. To the a little mus muscly mushroom. Acres. I thought it'd be kind of a fun little class to add. Either way, we got one more, I think, diary entry to end this off. Yes, we do. For um, Anguis, our shield breaker. Again, by Strange Wonder. Disgusting. I couldn't force myself to fight with the people of the town. I swore to protect with my new weapon. Not to, not to the best of my ability. 
Not in my right mind. And yet, this maniac and absolute monster of a woman didn't seem to have a single problem from destroying their lives. She relished it. Relished like I never saw before. I might just stay away from the town for a little bit. Spend my time on the outskirts of the rest. This was not the pleasant of sights in the slightest. My god. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.